Palisade is your local election headquarters. Today, Brighton Town Board Member Robin Wilt officially announced her run for State Assembly, but there are still questions if she's eligible to run. According to the Board of Election, to be eligible you to run, you must be a resident of New York for five years prior to the election. Lakeisha Bailey catches up with Robin Wilt. Many lined the streets this 4th of July waving flags to salute our servicemen and women. And elected officials, they were campaigning. Amongst them, Robin Wilt. Earlier this week, questions loomed about Wilt's eligibility to run. We reached out to her then. She wasn't available. Today was different. I have deep roots in the Rochester community, very deep roots, and I am well qualified to run for this office. Wilt announced on Facebook that she's running for 136th Assembly District, currently occupied by Joe Morelli, who defeated Wilt in the 25th congressional primaries. Welcome News 8 was the first to confirm from Kane County Board of Elections in Seattle, Washington, that Wilt voted from 2012 to 2016. So we asked. The Did Board of you election. vote in Seattle from I, 2012 to 2016? I have no idea. I don't even have the records for, for that. Then she deflected her answer. Meanwhile, Wilt's opponent, Jacqueline Richard, and her campaign manager says Wilt's situation is similar to the 55th state Senate race in 2014. Stephen Glickman did not meet the five-year state residency requirement. Because of the fact that he cast a vote in Washington, D.C., the appellate court, which is the highest court in New York State ruled that he was ineligible to be a candidate for the Senate. I just think they need the right qualities. They need to um, be compliant with the laws and they have to have no other special interest that they're dealing with. Candidates petitions must be filed by next Thursday. Then their opponents can file objections. Maureen. Lakeisha, thank you. We did reach out to Jamie Romeo, the chair of the Monroe County Democratic Committee. She is also running for the 136th Assembly seat. She has not yet responded. The state's primary election will be held September 13th, and the general election will follow in November.